Hey everybody, this is Peachy Boo playing a Mario World Hack by Haimari, who has, um, spelled his name wrong there. Uh, as you can see, oops, as you can see, I have played a bit before. This is actually a second take because, um, my recording software, if you don't know, is not one of the, you know, big two or three recording softwares. And thus, it is not particularly good at recording Super Mario World at its basic settings, so I had to screw around with the settings and whatever. This is Hyper 6, Hyper Mario World 6, as in Zawild. But, yeah. It's all in Japanese, it is a Japanese ROM hack, which means it's going to get hilariously difficult. I'm going to try to do this with as few save states as possible, hopefully zero, but, you know, I... Don't know how that's gonna go. The first one looks to be something by the name of something to do with Mario. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not too proficient in Japanese, especially- whoa. Especially not translating directly from, uh, hiragana or katakana, so... Yeah, whatever, so I've done these levels before, um, so it's not really anything new, but I still expect to die hilariously at least a couple times, so we'll see how that goes. There's a bullet, uh, Bonsai Bill there, his name is Bonsai. And, there's a couple guys there, whatever. Uh, this box here, if I can mm, hit that, that is a poison mushroom. The creator put that out of the way just to screw with you. Because, I mean, really, why else would that be the- whoa. I think I need to jump off this guy. Eh. There's a midpoint? But yeah, he puts, um, poison mushroom there just to screw with you. Because, you know, being a Japanese ROM hack, that is what- well, any ROM hack in general has the opportunity to be really, really annoying. But, uh, you know, that's just, uh, you can't slide into these guys because, well, They'll hurt you. I found that out the hard way the first recording. But, you know, whatever. So yeah, dick moves all around in uh, Mario Hacks for some reason. There's gonna be a jumping dude there. Ooh, well, I didn't know about that, but it was sort of worthless. There's another poison mushroom. It's not uh, particularly useful to me because, you know, it will hurt me. And things that hurt me tend to... Eh, die. Things that hurt me tend to be, you know, bad, so... Whatever. Gotcha. Whoa. Hey, Bullet Bill. Or Bonsai Bill. Why do I keep calling you Bullet Bill when you are obviously much larger than your average Bullet Bill? Sheesh, where's the fifth dragon coin? I don't know. I've never found it, and I don't really care to because it doesn't seem like this hack has any particular uh, dragon coin counter. Um, no, it does not. You start with ten lives, that's pretty... Scary, actually. Uh, yeah, so, the reason I did this, um, I don't know if you all know, but, you know, there's that whole Raukow guy who plays all the Mario ROM hacks, and he said he was going to do this, um, one soon, and, well, he ended up playing Nitori, Nitroid, and I just ran into a boomerang. And, the, pretty much everyone said, you know, uh, Raukow, maybe you should... Man, I sure love those interruptions. As I was saying, they were like, uh, Raukow, you probably should not play, uh, th this game while you- whoa. While you are playing, uh, Nitroid, or you should also not play Mario Gives Up 2 because you are going to be frustrated to all hell. Um, because they are all very difficult games. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun watching his run-through of Hyper 5. And this being the sixth one, I was like, you know what, since I'm doing this whole Let's Play thing for no real reason, let's, uh, let, let's do this. I always liked uh, Mario ROM hacking, I could never, um, really do it. I am, uh, tentatively working on a hack right now, but I don't think it will ever get done, because I have no idea how to, um, eh, how to do hacking or ASM or whatever, and I'm not too good at actually designing levels that aren't pretty much just Kaizo traps all everywhere because, 
Oh, I just haven't had a lot of practice, so... Yeah. So, I'll play the games. Not too good at making them, but that's fine, I guess. Whoops. Well, I got the Dragon Coin anyway. So, that is why I am playing this here uh, Mario hack. And, well, that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. So... This is going a lot better than my first take, because I know the levels, but, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, I don't know, it's, it's what it is. You know, I can't really help that my recording was screwed up, so. Okay, we'll go on to this one, which I'm not quite sure what the name is, because, as I said before, I am not proficient in reading Japanese, and even if I was, uh, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it's saying with, uh, just the kana there. So, uh, ah, that is not what I wanted to happen. This water, if you haven't noticed, will push you down because it is a waterfall. And that's suspicious. And that's why it's suspicious. Whoa. Um, yeah, whoa. Uh. Yeah, those coins there are, um, the, the coins that were over there were sort of, um, not where they should be to indicate a blind jump, but as I was saying, the water is like waterfall and will push you down, and this says something, I will attempt to translate it, but I can't do that on the fly because, well, yeah, it, it's just not something I can do. So, whatever. Ow. Yeah, those pits, uh, those pipes, uh, will shoot fire at you, for no particular reason. Uh, yeah. Uh, right here is a nice, uh, place to farm for lives. I might do that if I ever need to, but right now I don't really need to, because I seem to have not died yet. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you can duck while, uh... While, um, what do you call it? Eh, die. You can duck while you are, um, climbing vines, and it'll make it a lot easier to do those weird jumps that this game will expect me to do probably many times before it is over. Eh, die. And, eh, right here we get a nice introduction to holding down to swim at a fairly constant level. But, it's... Well, I mean, that's something you never had to do in the original Super Mario World. There's... Hmm, oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I did not do that correctly, I guess. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> that worked. Okay, back here. Let's uh, just jump over that. Yeah. There's a fish. He's gonna die. Because this would be a lot easier if I didn't have to deal with the fish. So, yeah, see? See how much easier that was? So, yeah. I had a bit of trouble here because um, waterfalls are not very good for sw actually swimming across. Oh, wait, what happened? What? Okay, I, um, I, 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 I died. Okay, let's see how much harder this will be without, uh, well, not much harder because the fish jumps without a fire flower. Okay. Whoops, whoa, don't, don't die, Mario. That would not be good. Eh, eh. Okay. So, you're supposed to be... Oops, there's a secret exit in this level, it's not much of a surprise now that I've actually done it, so... Let's just get the secret exit, and... Well, I guess we gotta go through the level again. Uh, we'll save that for next time. Oh, uh, yeah, well, 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 let's see. Eh. Oh, that was dumb. Really dumb. Okay, back here. Let's see if I can do this. 
Eh, die, fish. Ah, you didn't all die. Heck's wrong with you. Eh. Come on, fish. Fish, die. I, I need you to die. You are quite in the way. Okay. <clears throat> so, right at the end, of course, right above the secret exit, is where we go for the normal exit. There's a bullet bill waiting for ambush, but he did not hit me, so... It's pretty great how that did not affect me at all. Okay, so, we've taken a good chunk out of this. Three levels in one day, I'd say that's pretty good. We get a save prompt, that's also pretty good. So... I guess that will be all for this, uh, this episode. This has been Petey Boo playing Hyper Mario World 6. And I will see you then. Whenever then is, I guess, the next video. Goodbye.